Welcome to Leroy and Leroy's Guide to Lumsden, part one. Home of the Trans-Canada Trail. Now we know the trail goes all the way across Canada, but this part in Lumsden is especially really nice. And they have the Coppell Valley Nordic Center, where they do Nordic things. Let me tell you about some of the events they have. When you're a small town in Saskatchewan, it doesn't take many events for your town to be pretty amazing. That's why in Lumsden, they have two. The Duck Derby and the Scarecrow Festival. Today we're going to tell you all about both of them. But first, let's get into the town limits and talk about their slogan. Slow. Don't worry Lumsden, we'll take it slow. Now that we've made it into town, we can't wait to show you around and get to the Duck Derby and the Scarecrow Festival. But along the way, we'll see what else we can find. Now they say a picture is worth a thousand words. But in this case, we think these pictures could probably use a few more words because we're not exactly sure what they mean. The first one, I can only assume, means someone dropped their pen. <laughs> the second sign, I assume means that you can park a wagon inside of a house somewhere in that direction. Let's go find out. We haven't found what those signs led us to yet, but we did find this beautiful green space filled with kosher weed. One thing about kosher weed, it's green and it grows. Let's keep going. One other thing you may notice here in town, they're getting ready to add their very first traffic lights. This is their test run. Red, yellow, and blue. Unfortunately, Rick on the town council couldn't tell the difference between green and blue, but we're sure they'll fix it when they add the actual lights in. Now, if you didn't know, Lumsden is in a valley. And one thing about living in a valley, you can never be too prepared. That's why all the homes here in Lumsden come with their very own ark. That's a nice ark. We better get moving. We gotta catch the duck derby. One thing you'll notice while you're here in Lumsden, they paved the road back here and they're kind of working on things over here, but it won't interfere with the bike park. Look at that sweet jump for the kids. Whoa. That shouldn't be there though. Let's keep going. Now we're gonna take you deep inside the town of Lumsden and talk about something that's been dividing the town for decades. You may notice this sign here that says parallel parking, which is pretty self-explanatory that you're supposed to park parallel to the street. There are, however, a rogue group of citizens who refuse to parallel park and choose to angle park instead. Now I'm not gonna choose sides because I am an equal fan of both parallel and angle parking. But we just wanted to let you know when you're in town, you may run into some confrontations in regards to that. Here's another great place to stop while you're in town, this park. Although if you do come before 7 a.m., try and keep the noise at a minimum. Well, the first thing you'll notice is this bridge they built, which keeps your feet from getting wet when the grass gets dew on it. <laughs> My favorite part of this park though, is this basketball court, which you may not know, actually doubles as a swimming pool when it rains. It's been a pretty dry summer so far, so basketball it is. We still gotta get to the Scarecrow Festival. So it turns out we've got maybe a few unresolved questions from our trip here to Lumsden. We never did find the pointy building or where the wagon house is. Uh, apparently the Scarecrow Festival is not on today and neither is the Duck Derby. But you know, there's lots to cover in Leroy and Leroy's Guide to Lumsden, part two. I'm Leroy, he's Leroy behind the camera. There's always something to do.